Hello and welcome to another video. It's New Year's Eve when I'm filming this video and I hope everyone has an amazing 2022 and I hope everyone smashes their goals. Make sure you smash that like button while you're there as well at the same time because you will be notified every time I post up a video. I've got like the fitness videos going up obviously. I've got the vlogs going up. I've got the recipes going up. I've got loads about to go up in the new year. Absolutely loads of stuff so make sure you make sure you subscribe to the channel at the same time. So today I'm going to talk to you how I got myself monetized and how I've got how I've grown my channel from down here to where I am at the moment as well. I am planning on going to just try and just keep going as much as I possibly can at the same time. But I, I can try and help somebody out at the same time with the tips and the tricks that I did to get myself where I am to this very day. I will be absolutely shocked and amazed because then I know I've helped that sort one person out with a couple of these little tips. Okay, so how I got started onto my YouTube was in 2016. Obviously, I used to be a qualified personal trainer, but I had to give it up because obviously I've got kids with disabilities at home. So I worked in the gym industry for uh, three, three and a half years. I worked in it. Um, but before I was qualified, I was already helping people out. So I was actually already um, helping people with their fitness goals before this as well. So I've been doing this for many, many years at the same time. So obviously then I had to then give it up. That's when I started the YouTube channel in the 2016. Okay, I wasn't posting a lot back then. All I did is find my niche, did what I'm good at. I wrote down everything. I'm like, what am I good at? So it all came down to on a piece of paper. I wrote down everything, uh, noted it all down. I'm like, okay, right, I'm good at the fitness. I'm good at helping people out with their fat loss. I'm good at helping people with their fitness journeys along the way. So why don't I just start a YouTube channel? Okay, I wasn't very consistent with it back then. Uh, the videos are still up there to this very day. No, I will not be taking them down. I'm going to keep them up there because that is where I started. I might have posted a video, what, every couple of months. It was, and it wasn't a very long video. It was like a minute to a 90 second long video. Um, so it wasn't um, long at all what I was doing. So I wasn't very consistent back then. It then got to the year where the pandemic hit. Yes, we all remember that pandemic. That was horrible where everyone went into a, uh, well, let's just say we all got locked up and it was great fun. Um, so I saw a lot of people that was depressed on my Facebook. They was writing, oh, I can't deal with this. I need to work out. I need to exercise. That's when I thought, right, I've got a skill. I'm going to use it. So I started up the Facebook page, which is going to be just up there for you at the same time. I started up that. Do you know, I only started with two people on it. Just two people. OK, this is where the consistency needs to come in. OK, I, so I started with two people. OK, so I started the Facebook group. Um, hope I was just sharing it everywhere on my Facebook. I was sharing it into my community groups as well, just to try and grow it as much as I could. Um, so I was doing every morning I would get up and at 10 o'clock every day I would do a 30 minute fitness session for people and if they wanted to follow they could follow okay so I had these two people that was jumping on okay they would then share it onto their social medias that's where it started to slowly grow it was like really it just every now and again I'd pick up someone else and they would jump on obviously the fitness videos. And then it was one of those clients that said, why don't you do a YouTube channel at the same time and get the fitness stuff onto your channel? So this is what I did. I then got the fitness stuff. I had the Facebook Live going and then I had the YouTube camera going. So every session that I did in the morning, I would then film it and then make sure I posted it onto my YouTube at the same time. And then what I would then do is post it into my Facebook group. Um, that is when I had the couple of clients. At this time, I had about, I mean, I had four or five at this point. And then they would then share it onto their social medias. And this is where it would just start rolling the way it's rolling right now. Um, so I was consistent with that. I then had people saying, can you do beginners? So this is where I started doing advanced in the morning i then did the beginners in the afternoon so i was doing then two fitness sessions i was uploading two fitness chat few fitness videos a day again they're all on my channel now i think it's in the playlists as well um so that's what i was doing i was just basically being consistent i wasn't getting a lot of views back then 
Um, but I was trying to follow other people as well, like we was doing the fitness as well, because someone said to me, try following other people as well. So I did. I followed like people doing exactly the same thing as me. Everyone was all tiny and small back then, uh, but everyone has grown along the way at the same time. So we've all grown together as a massive family. So that is what we've done. And that's what I mean, being consistent. You have to literally be consistent when you're doing these videos. Yes, it can be heartbreaking when you don't get the views, when you don't get the likes, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if I help that one person out somewhere, anywhere around the world, it could be anywhere, if, even if one person jumped on one of them videos and I knew that I was helping one person somewhere around the world, I knew I was doing a good thing and I knew I was helping that person out at the same time. Right, and then I started researching the social medias and stuff, how I could actually get my channel out there that little bit more. Um, I actually found some Facebook groups, believe it or not. Obviously, I was posting in my community group where we where we are. We've got this massive community around our whole area. So I was constantly posting in there as well. And that's when the person that was running the community groups messaged me. He goes, right, there's so many out there. And he even helped me find a couple at the same time. So I looked for like people, YouTube fitness groups as well. There is so many out there. There's vlogging groups, there's cooking groups. There's, you've literally just got to hunt for them, find them, jump onto their pages, and you're allowed to post your videos up on their platforms at the same time, which then obviously gets your videos out even more. So that's tip number one. Look for Facebook groups as much as you can. You might be there all day looking for them, but once you've found one or two, you then start finding more and more. I'm in about six to seven Facebook fitness groups at the moment where I will post my, as soon as I've done a video, I literally just post it up into their groups at the same time. So that's how I will then get my video out there that little bit more, so people can then watch it. Um, the other thing I then did was Instagram. Instagram is a very good tool. Um, again, look for the hashtags, look for the groups, look for the fitness groups. If you're doing a fitness channel, look for the fitness groups. If you're doing a cooking channel, look for the cooking channels. Just look for everything, okay? Research the hashtags. Um, I've got the hashtags that I use quite regularly and I just literally, I've got them all written down in my note in my notepads as well, so I know which hashtags I'm using, which then goes into those certain groups, which then pushes it out. Um, obviously, I'm posting on my stories quite regularly as well because that is helping me push my channel out a little bit more. Um, Instagram is then linked, obviously, to my YouTube. Um, I also use TikTok as well. TikTok's okay. It's like a smallest channel, but I try and put stuff on my TikTok as well because I'm using the TikTok and the Instagram. They're like little streams. So basically, what's going to happen is the little streams will then come into your YouTube and then they'll push people into your YouTube channel at the same time. So everything is all linked up so use as much social media as you could possibly can that is another tip as well and post and post i know it's so it's, it can be um a bit consuming posting up 24 7 but trust me it is worth it okay you will finally get set somewhere you need to get to as well just just keep going be consistent with it just keep smashing them out just keep using the social medias as much as you possibly can Okay, so then I, in January or February, I can't remember, in 2021, it was one, I think it was the end of January, I actually hit my uh, subscriber count, which I needed to hit, which was the 1K, um, obviously, because I kept posting up as well. Um, that's when another one of my clients said, look, why don't we go, because I told them I need this much watch hours. I literally, I was just there. I was nearly at the watch hours, and I was like, okay, I need these watch hours. That was the hardest part to get, I think, the watch hours. So what I then did is I started doing Facebook Lives. Facebook Live, uh, YouTube Lives, sorry. I was doing YouTube Lives, but I was then posting into my YouTube, into my fa Facebook, and announcing that I was doing a YouTube Live. Um, and then, obviously, <coughs> all my subscribers, if they wanted to jump on, they could just jump on as well. So I started doing uh, live one-hour boot camps. Again, they're still on my YouTube channel. They're linked in there as well. I'm never getting rid of them because that was part of my journey as well. So they are going to be staying there. Just older videos that you can just go and watch. But I was doing live boot camps. I was doing, like, 30-minute sessions. I was doing 
all sorts where I'm obviously a qualified black belt as well I started putting all my box fit together I thrown in my kickboxing drills into a lot of these workouts and again my clients would then share this onto their social medias and that's how that went through and eventually March I hit my watch hours I couldn't believe it the watch hours got hit um, just by doing all, all them lives it was great fun doing the lives I, I've met so many people doing these lives it's unbelievable um, a lot of you I still talk to now and again you're all just amazing this is like a massive like YouTube community where everyone helps each other out it's it's great so yeah so that's that's another tip go for the youtube lives as much as you can because that is going to help with your watch hours a lot okay so then obviously march we got monetized and then i had to set it all up that took about two weeks i believe and yes i did notice the views they started to drop down a little bit so i'm like okay we're not gonna stop we're just gonna keep going so i just kept posting Again, just using my niche, doing what I'm good at. I was trying to find what works good for my channel as well. There is loads of different things that works really well for my channel, which I have found. Um, obviously, I've got loads planned for the new year, which is going to be going up at the same time. Um, obviously, um, I've been doing YouTube collabs as well. If you could do a YouTube collab with people as well, that is going to help your channel an awful lot as well. At the minute, I am just about to do a YouTube collab with ah, bam, bam, Derek's journey. I'm um, going into his steps journey again. He did ask me to be a team captain, but stuff came up and I was like, uh, can I can I commit to the captain bit? I don't know at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be jumping onto somebody's team this time. But I'm hoping next time he does it, I will be that team captain as well because I really want to be the team captain as well because it'd be so much fun as well because then we can I can help encourage more people to get their steps in at the same time. It's great fun. Again, it's a little community and it just grows and you're helping so many people out you don't even have to have a youtube channel to join in so if you want to do the steps channel challenge challenge, challenge with me just jump on and do it with me it's great fun and um, so yeah that's what i did and, and then i just kept going and going and going and posting and posting and posting um i was sitting here as soon as i'd done a video i then post it i was then watching youtube videos how to um like optimize your channel how to tag your channel properly as well that took a lot of videos to watch and i mean a lot where i'm dyslexic i have trouble reading stuff so basically youtube videos are just ideal for me so this is what i did i just looked look, watched videos on how to optimize your channel how to tag your channel um step by step some of the videos i had to watch once or twice just to make sure it stayed in there so i had it at the same time but yeah it's it's a lot of research to do but it is worth it at the same time so my tips and tricks for the future is to carry on doing what i'm doing um just keep going with everything i'm gonna make sure i'm posting quite regularly as well obviously i want to make sure i'm going to try and grow this channel as much as i possibly can because if i can help out a whole community of people i will be absolutely amazed in my local area i've helped out hundreds of people in my local area um i've got like i said with my even with my uh facebook group with my fitness community if you watched the last video i just done again i started with two people okay and then snowball effect okay i've now got about 40 to 50 people always jumping into my sessions now um i've got the live zoom fitness sessions going up as well i'm going to carry on with the youtube videos as well i've got loads of recipes that i do want to be posting as well everything's written down on a little notepad so i know which videos i need to do um i'm going to be doing some more recipe videos i'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs as well because obviously i can then put my fitness some fitness tips into the vlogs then you can see my journey at the same time and you can just see parts of my life at the same time i will be putting up the odd fitness video as well for you at the same time so that you can just follow along with it as much as you want 
Again, they're gonna be simple workouts. I do a lot of workouts for beginners now and a lot of low impact as well because I've got a lot of clients which have just started, which have been nervous and anxious and this is just gonna help them even if it's just something little, 10 minutes that they can do every single day. So I've been doing a lot of, I did a lot of research for beginners and low impact anyway. So that's why I've put loads of low impact and beginner workouts together at the same time. Because at the end of the day, if I can get someone started on their fitness journey, hey, that's 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 another smile on my face. Okay, so we're going to call this video off here. Okay, and make sure you jump onto all my channels. Make sure you jump onto my uh, fitness stuff. Do what you can on that because um, I've got loads of fit uh, fitness videos going up. I've got beginners. I've got advanced. I've got people in wheelchairs in there i've got a couple of disability ones i've got the old air boxing in there because everyone loves the old air boxing where i throw in all my kickboxing drills at the same time so you could be getting some knee strikes you could be getting some punches you could be getting some kicks you name it you could be getting it because there you go i've already got myself a title belt because i won my boxing match and there's a couple of my trophies at the back there and there you go there's my picture when i did my boxing match okay so i'll catch you guys bang in the next video